Hi students, now I am going to teach 10th standard physics, linear momentum or momentum P. What is mean by momentum? The product of mass and velocity of a moving body gives the magnitude of the linear momentum. Momentum P is equal to mass m into velocity v. Momentum is used to measure the impact of force on a body or magnitude of force. The assignment of momentum is kilogram meter second inverse 1 mass unit kilogram velocity unit ms inverse 1. So, momentum SI unit is kilogram meter second inverse 1. In CGS unit is gram centimeter second inverse 1. It is a vector quantity. Then, from the equation P equal to M into V. Momentum of a moving body is directly proportional to mass. Mass increases, momentum also increases mass decreases momentum also decreases then momentum p is directly proportional to velocity v so speed of the body increases momentum is also increases speed of the body decreases momentum also decreases next another important five mark question as well as three more questions. State Newton second law of motion deduce the equations of force by using second law of motion. So, in two more questions, they are asking state Newton second law of motion. In five mark or seven mark question, they are asking like that state Newton second law of motion and deduce the equations of force using second law of motion or another method obtain the equations f equal to ma by using newton's second law of motion so already we discussed newton's first law of motion so newton's first law of motion states what till the force acting body continues to be in the same state rest or motion so changes the state rest or motion we need we apply some amount of external unbalanced force. This is Newton's first law of motion. Then Newton's second law of motion state that the force acting on your body is directly proportional to rate of change of linear momentum of the body. And the change in momentum takes place in the direction of the force. Or another statement, force equal to rate of change of momentum. So, equation F equal to dP by dt. So, F represent force equal to P represent momentum. So, dP by dt stands for momentum changes with respect to time or change in momentum by time is known as rate of change of momentum. So, this law helps us to measure the amount of force so, Newton's second law of motion is known as, also known as, law of force. Here, consider a body, mass, the body, M, a body moving in a straight line, the initial velocity, U, force acting on the body. After some interval of time t, the body changes velocity, final velocity, v. So, here, initial momentum of the body equal to pi. P stands for momentum ei. Initial momentum pi equal to mass into initial velocity u. So, here, u represent initial velocity of the moving body v represent final velocity of the moving body m mass of the moving body 
a force um, or unbalanced force acting on the moving body so initial momentum of the body pi is equal to m into u final momentum of the body pf p momentum f final final momentum equal to mass into final velocity now find change in momentum of the body dp dp stands for change in momentum of the body is equal to final momentum minus initial momentum so substitute final momentum initial momentum in this equation we obtained dp equal to mb final momentum minus initial momentum mu so here m is common so taking outside so dp equal to m into v minus u now change in momentum by time equal to m into v minus u by t by newton second law of motion force is directly proportional to dp by dt or force is directly proportional to rate of change of momentum or change in momentum by time taken f equal to k dp by dt is a case of proportionality constant so substitute dp by dt that is change in momentum by time taken here f equal to k m my v minus u by t so f equal to k into m a so here a acceleration so acceleration a equal to final velocity minus initial velocity by time a equal to v minus u by t so f equal to m a k is a proportionality constant and this value k equal to 1 so finally f equal to m a this is mathematical derivation of newton second law of motion with the help of this equation we obtained the magnitude of our amount of force acting on the body so s amount of force is newton or kilogram meter second inverse to so this kg ms inverse is obtained from equation f equal to ma mass kilogram acceleration meter per second square or ms inverse to so s amount of force is kg ms inverse to another cgs unit of force is dyni so one newton is equal to 10 power 5 dyni so next question is define the term unit of force or define one newton the amount of force required to produce an acceleration of 1 ms inverse to in a body of mass 1 kg is called unit of force then very important one word gravitational unit of force gravitational unit of force in sa system is 1 kg force equal 9.8 newton in cg system 1 g force equal 980 dyn so from the definition of unit of force we obtain the one dyn also the amount of force required to produce an acceleration of 1 cm second inverse to in a body of mass 1 g is called unit of force or one dyne